Hey guys, it's part three of the Easy Worship videos. I just wanna show you how to use this remote. You might see people using this on stage quite regularly, and this is really, really good. So if I just go to Easy Worship Remote, this is the black iPad. The silver iPad's more for upstairs. And then I can just, I'll just rotate that quickly, sorry. Um, now, the problem is, I, at the moment, I don't have Easy Worship open, so I've gotta open Easy Worship here. So you can see on the screen, it's just opening. I'll just got to, I might just open a part previous schedule. So uh, open, this is Sunday's schedule. And you can see all the songs and everything from Sunday pop up and automatically it links up straight away. So now I have full control of the songs, the output. And you can see on the main screen, there's the output and it changes every time I do this. And I can also, do video. So if I click on video, Graham Tour, that's a video. The wrong one. Press play. You see the Graham video starting to play on the screen, which is hard to see, but you can hear the audio coming through. So, and then I can even do PowerPoint here. My PowerPoints, I just double click on the one I want. The Graham video stopped, and now I've got House CC announcements. So this can be, it's great for song leaders and that when they're jumping around a little bit, they can be in control of their own songs. But it's also great if you, if you don't want an extra person in the desk doing the words, they can just sit by the desk and use the iPad. And, and all the kids are really great at iPads, obviously. So that's how that's done. Um, if you've got any questions, let me know.